Today on DIY Willy, we're going to do something different. Uh, normally we play with engines and cars and whatnot, uh, but today we have a bike. It's my son's new giant, I believe it's called a Stance, and uh, it's a nice bike. He got it for uh, during this pandemic and we can actually ride it around, and, or he can actually ride it around and have some good times. So, uh, you know, these bikes nowadays, they're built for performance. They don't have a kickstand to hold the bike up. It's just, you know, it's built for speed and performance, like I said. So I found, I searched online and I found a stand that kind of connects here to the forks and it'll allow it to, to hold itself up. So uh, it's built out of, out of PVC. I've got the PVC right here. I chose one inch, schedule 40 PVC. It's built out of that and uh, some miscellaneous tees and, and different parts that I'll that I'll bring out later. Uh, right now, I like I need to measure the height and uh, determine how tall the pieces need to be. Let's get going. So I've got the pieces cut out. And uh, here, let me get the other ones that's by the bike. I've got them all cut out. I've got two long pieces, two long pieces at 14 inches. These are gonna be the uprights. This is what's gonna go and attach to the bike. I've got three, two smaller pieces. These are three inches. Let me write that on there. These are three inches. Put them over there. These are 14. 14. Okay. Now I've got three pieces that are 12 inches and these are the pieces that are going to go across there we go two pieces i forgot what size these are i think they're seven let's see yes seven and two pieces that are oh there it is right there two pieces that are seven inches and then the miscellaneous t's I think there's six T's in all, or, or eight T's in all, I think. So, uh, it's really easy to assemble. I was going to use the sander and sand this stuff down, but in reality, I think I'll just get a piece of sandpaper and just kind of do that, take some of the edges off. Working with PVC, it is kind of messy. It has all this fine, fine little shavings. Let's get rid of them here. They're easy. Now these cuts aren't exactly square, but that's okay because they fit inside the T's. And uh, I can adjust some of the height that I need them at. So we'll call this series Fun with PVC. I probably could have used three quarter inch PVC to do this, but I wanted to be sure that it was gonna hold up. And the one inch is just that much more assurance that it's gonna hold the weight of the bike if it were to uh, be bumped or, or something you know, close to where it's gonna fall over. Really don't want it to hit the ground. Get all these pieces cleaned up. You can start to install and, and mark the pieces because PVC, you know, I could probably assemble it and it'd be just fine. 
but uh, PVC has a glue that you use to uh, basically it kind of melts the pieces together so when doing that we know that it's not going to come apart while it's holding the weight of the bike or if you're trying to set the bike up it's not going to come apart and cause the bike to fall over or not hold the weight so I do have the glue and once I have it all assembled and kind of marked to where it's holding the bike I'll mark each piece and then I'll take it apart and glue it and assemble it back according to those marks Ooh, the sandpaper is dirty all right so first off we'll take a T we're gonna take our 14 inch risers put them in so in there like that Go. Then we're going to take our three inch pieces. Let's see how we can do this. We're going to take our three inch pieces, put them together, and they're going to have another T. Like that. I'm not sure of this angle yet. We'll find out. We'll get this one. And another T. Where's the T's? Okay. And the rest parts. So this one will be like that, I believe. Yes. And then the seven inch piece will go in. It'll have another T like that. And then, hmm, that's what I wanted. I wanted one more this way. I'll cut that in a minute. Put another three inch piece and have another T. We'll figure that out. Now I can assemble the 12 inch pieces. I need the 7 inch. And then the other T. So here, you kind of get the idea. Kind of get the idea of what it is here. These are going to be at an angle. They're going to have a T on top of them. The T is going to be cut. In fact, we'll do that now. I'm not sure of the angle yet, though. I need to uh, put it down and figure out that angle. But yeah, that's basically what I'm getting at. We'll make sure it sits flat on the floor, and then we'll mark the site. So when we disassemble it to clean it for gluing, we get it back in the same spot. So looking at these pieces, these are pieces that are going to go up on the frame. The frame is going to actually sit inside there. So I'm just going to cut it in half so that it will give it kind of that U shape. And uh, I would like to cut it in less than that, but I put a line. We'll do that right now. Okay, so I've got the pieces cut. You can see they got an angle on them. This is so they're going to be at an angle and this is they, where they sit the the frame will sit inside. So we'll go ahead and kind of assemble it together. Again, let me get you over here looking this way. Again, these are going here like this. Like this. And they'll come down at an angle and the bike frame will sit right in here. Uh, again, these will all be glued together once I, once I uh, figure out exactly where it needs to be for the bike. I would still like to add one more piece back here if it's necessary, uh, but we'll find out. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's uh, get it down there and try it on the bike. Okay, so that's kind of what we wanted to do. I'll get it down and get a close up of it before I mark it for, uh, for gluing. 
seems to work good. It will hold the bike. I mean, I could even do something as some uh, some Velcro straps or something right here if I really wanted to make it stronger. But I think it will, once it's all glued together, I think it's going to work good. I like it. Let me get a close up. So here it is up close. I really like it. It uh, seems to work just as I expected it to. The bike sits in the the T's up there that are cut. We got down, like I said, I'll put a little mark like here and here and there and there so that I get it back in the same spot. These have to be a little bit turned because the bike frame is at a kind of a weird bend. You see it more on this side and it's got some bend to it. But it is, I mean, it's, it's really stable. It really looks good. I, li I like it. This is a... Uh, <laughs> This is a DIY wheelie fun with PVC day, I guess. You know, we build it, things sits in there quite well. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and mark it up for, uh, for gluing and we'll make it more permanent. And it doesn't seem to need that piece on the back. It seems to be quite sufficient just as it is. All right, let's get it marked up for gluing. So here's the finished project. It's all glued together. All the angles are right. And yeah, I like it. It looks good. It's pretty stable. I think it uh, works really well. The one thing we would like to do to it is uh, paint it black so it better matches the, the bike and where it's gonna go. And uh, yeah, I think it looks fantastic. Works good, just exactly as what I had hoped for. So, uh, thanks for watching uh, this episode of DIY Willie where we played with PVC pipe. And uh, thanks for coming. Uh, please comment, leave a comment, uh, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. If you haven't already, please subscribe to DIY Willie. We do a lot of projects. Uh, we're going to do more projects that aren't so much motor or uh, car related, even though I do have a lot more to do. Uh, we'll do projects like this, just simple things that I can just shoot a quick video out and just kind of show what I did. Uh, gluing it together was really simple. I did mark it so I knew the angles that I wanted it to be at when it was glued. I did use PVC glue, red hot blue glue for PVC pipe cement to glue it all together. And that stuff acts fast. You better be quick when you go to assemble it because it starts to harden within seconds. So uh, there you go. That's our bike stand for our giant uh, bike. It's a stance model. And uh, yeah, come back to DIY Willie. All right, thank you. Bye.